Another stress that has very little to do with how much we have is the stress about what happens to me when I die. What happens to me when I'm gone? And of course, humanity has, throughout the ages, uh, come up with very, very different explanations, stories, mythologies, trying to explain how it is possible for us to, even after death, continue on by creating uh, the concept of the spirit or soul and the different religions or, or mythologies or traditions or cultures, whatever you want to call them, have different interpretations on that. So that's another stress. Even if I have it all, even if I'm healthy throughout my life and I, and I manage to die happy without any suffering, any physical suffering or mental suffering, what happens afterwards? So that's another stress. So that makes the point that the stress comes from within. It comes from within. We are grasping or rejecting. I want to grasp the good stuff. I don't want the bad stuff. And that goes on and on to the material, to the health, to the psychological, to the spiritual, to, uh, to infinity. The mind is never at rest. So I rest my point on this one. Once again, let's go back to the to, to the uh, the first two noble truths. There is stress, no denial about it. The stress comes from our mind, no denial about that. So the next question that the teacher uh, encounters is like, okay, if the stress comes from my mind because of grabbing, grasping, and rejecting uh, the, the uh, mathematical uh, solution to this is, okay, stop grasping, stop rejecting, and there's no more stress. Now, this one is pretty logical. All right, if the stress that exists comes from my mind, and it is a result of grabbing, grasping, or rejecting, aversion fighting, then, hence, when I stop grabbing or grasping or rejecting, the suffering is gone, the stress is gone. So it sounds pretty, uh, this one is, uh, is pretty uh, easy to understand if we have gone through uh, the meditative processes or the pondering process or using our mind skillfully to really, really uh, nail it and understand that there is stress, there is no denying it, and that the stress comes from within, from our mind. This one, these two first ones are tough to understand, to get to, but once you get to the first two ones, the third one is like almost automatic. If there is stress, and the stress comes from my mind trying to grasp and, and uh, fight stuff, well, if my mind is able to stop grasping and fighting stuff, the stress is gone. Now some smart guy is going to say, hey, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. All right, let's say that I, by some kind of miracle, I'm able to stop my mind from grabbing and, and rejecting. Well, if my neighbor comes at me and hits me with a hammer on the head, I'm still going to feel that and it's going to hurt. And that is totally true. But to that I will say, this stress over here that I'm talking about, or the, 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 the teacher is talking about, is not uh, the physical stress. We're talking about the mental stress. Uh, everybody knows that if somebody hits us with a hammer, we're going we're gonna to feel it and it's going to hurt. Uh, the first thing is that it's, it's something that's going to be temporary, you know, if it's not, if it's not too big of a, of a blow, but it's a temporary thing. It's going to hurt for a while and eventually it's just going to go. Um, and there's no 
there is no avoiding that. That's uh, part of our nature. We have nerves that are designed for that. Uh, actually, those nerves, uh, nerves and nerve endings are there to protect us so we know what's going on inside our body so we don't knock the, 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 the walls all the time. But this over here is not about uh, stopping the physical pain. This is about stopping the mental stress, the mental suffering. Uh, we know how to avoid the physical pain by being careful that our neighbor doesn't hit us with a hammer on the head to the best of our ability. So we've gone through the, the three first normal truths. There is stress. Stress is real. Stress comes from within our mind. And then when we use our mind properly, there is no mental stress. It's over. We don't suffer anymore. And, and here is the last step where the teacher, if, if, the, if the teacher has stuck there, it would be like, uh, beautiful, thank you very much. <clears throat> I got it, there is stress, stress comes from within, and when I use my mind properly, um, there's no more stress, beautiful. And at that point I would look at the teacher and say, thank you very much, I, I get you. Uh, how in heaven do I use my mind properly so I stop grabbing, grasping, and rejecting.